Dive deep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts. Your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversations. Episode 36 and feeling freedom and the law, Paul's insight. In this lecture, we delve into Paul's letters to the Galatians and Romans, where he tackles the complex issues of freedom and the law. For Paul, the concept of freedom revolved around the significance of the message of Jesus, which brought about a new relationship with God and our sense of community among believers. However, this newfound freedom also gave rise to challenges within the Christian communities, including conflicts and decisions on how to live their lives. Paul's letter to the Galatians and Romans addressed these issues head on. The question of faith. The letter to the Galatians was specifically written to a group of congregations in central Turkey and uh, that Paul had founded. These communities consisted of people from various religious backgrounds, including Celtic, Greek, and Roman traditions. However, some Jewish Christian preachers arrived and insisted that these non-Jewish believers must follow the Jewish law, including practices like circumcision and adherence to dietary restrictions. In response, Paul wrote the letter to address these concerns. Paul begins by recounting how his own perspective shifted through his encounter with Jesus, emphasizing that faith in Jesus was the start of his new world view. He recalls a conference in Jerusalem where leaders agreed that the message of Jesus was central to the Christian faith, regardless of whether one was of Jewish or non-Jewish background. Therefore, Paul argues that non-Jewish Christians need not become circumcised to be part of the community. It is their shared faith that matters most. Paul highlights an incident in Antioch where Peter's actions contradicted this principle, causing divisions within the community. Paul confronts the Galatians with a crucial question. Is their identity defined by faith in Jesus or adherence to the Jewish law? According to Paul, the fundamental issue in human life is sin, which results in a fractured relationship with God and others. Faith for Paul restores and justifies this relationship rectifying the brokenness caused by mistrust. Paul attributes this justification to the grace of God, emphasizing that people are justified by faith rather than adherence to the law. The Role of Jewish Law Another important aspect addressed in Paul's letters is the status of Jewish law within the Christian community. Since the God of Jesus was the same God of Israel, who gave the law, some questioned why Christians were exempt from certain legal requirements. Paul responds by considering both personal experience and scriptural evidence. From the perspective of experience, Paul observes that the Galatians, who were not of Jewish background, came to faith in Jesus without the need for circumcision. Thus, the question why they should be compelled to adopt Jewish practices after embracing the message of Jesus. Paul also appeals to scripture, referring to the promise made to Abraham that through him all nations would be blessed. Therefore, when non-Jewish Galatians received the blessing of faith through Jesus, they became part of the promised blessing without the necessity of following the Jewish law. 
Paul acknowledges that the Jewish law had a role in protecting and restraining, but he argues that its functions is limited, as love inherently contains an element of restraint. Paul asserts that as people live by faith, they no longer require the law's supervision. True freedom for Paul is not self-serving, but rather exemplified by loving service to one another. In this view, Paul finds a deep congruence between the heart of Jewish law, which is to love one's neighbor, and the message of Jesus, which frees individuals to express their love through service to others. Letter to the Romans Paul's letter to the Romans, written to a multi-ethnic readership in the city, focuses on the righteousness of God. He emphasizes that the gospel is the power of God for salvation, available to both Jews and Greeks. Paul argues that all people, regardless of their background, share a common need for salvation, as they have all fallen short and sinned against God. He aims to highlight the universal human condition of imperfection and wrongdoings, which applies to people from various cultural and religious backgrounds. Paul emphasizes that God seeks to make things right with everyone, offering salvation on the same basis to all. He contends that the righteousness of God is revealed through Jesus who bridges the gap and provides a means of reconciliation for both Jews and non-Jews. Paul asserts that everyone, Jew or Greek, stands in need of God's righteousness. In subsequent chapters, Paul discusses the role of faith in the process of salvation, highlighting that it is not based on adherence to the law, but on faith in Jesus. He explores the concept of grace and emphasizes that it is by God's grace, not by observing the law, that people are justified and brought into a right relationship with God. Overall, Paul's letters to the Galatians and Romans address the tension between freedom and the law within the Christian context. He emphasizes the primacy of faith in Jesus and the transformative power of God's grace, which liberates believers from the constraints of the law. Paul sees faith as the defining element that sets things right and enables believers to live in freedom, expressing their love and serving one another. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literatures series, Unearth Stories and Symbols in a Fresh Literary Light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. Thank you for joining us today for this insightful exploration of Paul's letter to the Galatians and Romans. We've journeyed through the depths of faith and freedom and the law and how they intertwine in early Christian communities. We delve into the transformative power of faith in Jesus and Paul's profound understanding of God's grace. It's fascinating to see how Paul navigates the complexities of freedom from the law, advocating a life of loving service over strict legal adherence. If you found today's discussion enriching, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content. Click on the notification bell so you won't miss our next episode, episode 37. Paul's view on gender roles and slavery, where we expand on Poland letters and their impact on social structures. Your engagement helps us grow and continue bringing these meaningful discussions to you. Share your thoughts in the comments below and join the conversation. Until next time, keep exploring the depth of faith and history with us.